Hello again, it's Tuesday evening, so still the beginning of the week really, I hope you beginning of the week has started off well, and you're all having a good time, well, lockdown, good time, I don't want to keep talking about lockdown, what I'm doing today is I'm just going to do a quick video to finish off the review, so, I mean the last time I was videoing the cat attacked the recording, so I've decided just to get through the things, the food side of things review out the way so then I can start reviewing other things and looking forward and showing things off like my new camera which well, works not quite so new it for Christmas I'm still playing around with it getting ready to so I can learn to use it properly to edit to record take pictures and edit for this so I'm just going to do the rest of the food review first okay so just off um, things that I had from before didn't do it the good fellas stone baked spicy vegetable salsa pizza that's it, the back of it. It's not a bad pizza. It's really reasonably priced to be honest and it goes on offer quite a lot. So 6.5 out of 10, I'll give that. It's not in the ump category and the cat's just come in the room again. This is gonna be interesting because what is it? I go on this and then the cat thinks, oh yeah, he's come in, he's down there now. Gonna get on with the next one before he attacks. So I'm gonna give that 6.5 out of 10. Mm. Now, fries, artisan, meat-free, seven-star tenders. These are really nice. They're fresh, not in the frozen section. Really, really nice. I had those recently, because they had the 10th of January on. Um, I recommend those. I'll give them 8.5 out of 10. Great in things if you wanted to do them like in a, the equivalent to a chicken substitute for a panini sandwich. And while I'm there, I'll just say um, I tried the, I went to Costa the other day, I quite often go to Costa, I usually have a large latte with um, oat milk, sometimes I have coconut milk, usually oat milk, love it. My daughter tried the extra shot three with the um, B12, whatever. she said it wasn't that good to be honest, so and I've heard mixed reviews about the Starbucks as well, so I don't know, but while I was there yesterday, I had a panini for lunch, so I had a... Um, Jackfruit barbecue panini, really nice to be quite frank on it. And at the, when you Monday to Wednesdays, they're half price. So I'll give that at the barbecue. I'll give that a nine out of ten. I mean, at half price. If I was paying full price, it would probably be a seven. But it was a good meal. It got me through. Did the job. Got the catty next to me. So I'll just quickly show you. Yes, he's there. He's been fussed. Hopefully, he'll leave this alone while I'm doing this. Then go go through. Don't stop. Now these are some of the things that I was meant to do in a review before Christmas. I don't know if they've got them in now. now. Um, I went to Arty before Christmas, got some party, vegan party food, and uh, no duck and oating spring rolls. They're quite nice again. They were a good price. There they are, the vegan label. Hopefully um, they're still in stock if you want to buy. Um, the ducks, 7.5 out of 10. Doing the 0.5 today, a bit aren't I? So yeah, uh, this is a good one try. Then I tried the Let's party vegan, cauliflower, pumpkin, and chili bites. I'm going to give them seven out of ten. They were okay. They weren't the greatest thing, but you know, come on, Susie babe, you know it. It doesn't want to know me until I get on here. It's like it's, it should do review with Zeus. Go on, mate. Please, no. Come on, every time. Um, some let's party fusion skewers. Some of these were nice. One, I think, one of them wasn't so great. But they, you know, good value. I'm going to give them overall seven out of ten. This is going to be quick, isn't it? With um, Zeus attacking everything. Zeus, no, come on. Don't want to be mean. Don't want to be mean. Try not to be mean, and yet this is how I get punished for it. Um, or Oriental vegetable selection. That's two times in a row that Zeus has done this to me. No, Zeus to do this don't ever work with children or animals I work with animals I work with dogs and then I come home the cats don't want to know me all day all afternoon I get the camera right to start recording and what happens Zeus attacks this is just typical I'm gonna to have to do it this way now I'm losing the stand pieces e e Give up, we can. Um, I'm going to give the orange vegetable selection. He's still there, see, I'm not lying. He's just attack, attack, attack. 
Mm. I'm going to give them six out of ten. Sorry, go through. Then I got some fries. Check is that. I'm, these are probably the most disappointing thing I've had of fries, to be honest, since I've done. Um, meat free chicken star burgers. Sorry, this this is um, amateur, isn't it? Eh? I'm not the best at the best of the time. Um, I'm going to give them six out of ten. I'm not going to give them any more than that, to be honest. Um, they're not the the great. Zeus. Attack of the cat time. I know. Oh well. This could go viral if the cats keep attacking. I should do when cats attack, shouldn't I? Let's be honest. When cats attack. Right, let's get that back there. Right, I tried this last year. Date on it. Ah, my cousin's birthday, 23rd of the 10th. Uh, 20th, 23rd of October, October my, one of my cousin's oh, birthday. Um, vegan vanilla cake. Got that from Tesco's. I'm going to give that five out of ten there are better ones out there by far i've got ultra sweets of there was something about the cream texture i just the icing texture on top i should say just wasn't for me wasn't for me so i'm gonna give that a five out of ten then once it oh, i'm going through the negatives now plant chef tesla plant chef. i like the plant chef range generally corn fritters i think they're 175 for four but you know what oh, la, la, la. 5.5 5 out of 10. I've not bought them since. I think that might have been the second time I bought them. I'm not 100% sure. We'll get there. Let's get into a positive frame of mind, eh? Let's get into... Right then. Alternative tender beefless pieces from the ALT. They're really good. Um, I'm trying some other ones this week, which are not ALT. Tesco's own rant, so I'll give a review on that separately when I did that. Those ones, though, I'm going to give... 8 out of 10. They are good. They are. They are good. Now, ah. Plant menu, which is odd, isn't it? Vegan. Two no chicken burgers. Maybe it's just something about the chicken. I think the KFC to a fantastic version of a chicken burger. I can't. I'm going to give them 6.5 out of 10. I can't remember. Then, ah, right. Last thing. Don't know if they still do it, isn't it? Bit of a story to this one. Morrison's the best vegan trifle. I had this for Christmas. I bought it and it had Boxing Day's date on it, so that's all I got left here. It had Boxing Day. It was quite big. The thing that got me was there was no price on the shelf. It was next to a traditional trifle. The shelf below had traditional normal trifles at £2.50. I went to this guy, put it through the machine. I had my friend with me. He was using his store discount card. But before the discount, it was seven ninety nine, eight pound, and it was six point five out of ten. It was okay, but never again. If I would pay, I wouldn't pay over a fiver for it, especially when you know the one next to it's. It was like you're being discriminated against because it's vegan, and that was a bit bleh, rude sort of thing. Right, where do these come from? <coughs> I had some. It was a Christmas present from one of my customers. Now they got me two lovely things, dairy free. Fudge. That's good. Mm, with no header. I liked them. I have had a better fudge, to be honest, um, but probably far more expensive. I'm going to give that 8 out of 10, and then all. Oh. I've bought these for presents, especially for my daughter in the past, but never had them myself. I've never tried one before. Booja Booja. Award winning. Midnight Espresso. Around Midnight Espresso Vegan. Or da organic Dairy Free Vegan. They are the bees. The cat's here again. He just, he just, he wouldn't want to know me in five minutes' time, but he wants to know it now because he can interfere now. They are the bees' knees. I'm going to give them, so I'll do it, I'm going to give them 10 out of 10. I'm going to try something else of the range, but not the espresso. That's the back of it. They are vegan. It's clearly marked they're vegan. Boja, boja. I'm going to give them 10. I don't think I've ever given a 10 before, to be honest. May have given one right at the very beginning in my naive when I was starting and trying to be nice to the world, but um, they get a 10, and that was a Christmas present, so what can I say? Fantastic, thank you. I'm going to leave it there because I've still got the cat here. Oh, one last thing. I'll pack my Secret Santa. No, it wasn't. I got these from my Secret Santa were candy kittens. 
they were nice I'll do the sweet ones because them and the, there was something else I'll do them later but these I got these this packet juicy strawberry gourmet gummy gummy candles from Aldi they were on offer before Christmas they were okay I'll give them seven out of ten and I'm gonna leave it there I've got a cat here just he's the center of attention yes he wants it you've got to give a like just for Zeus attacking again and with my limited editing zero skills at the moment which we're going to improve on and we'll talk about that that's an item for another day Zeus he's got a bottle on the table empty bottle he need knock it he's going to come back he's going to say goodbye if you haven't already please if you got to it subscribe it would be immense and I really do appreciate it Give it a thumbs up if you've got to it. I really appreciate that too. Zeus says goodbye. I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.